The supreme profound and sublime dharma is difficult to meet even in a billion eons, but now I have been fortunate enough to have seen it, heard it, received it, and kept it. I vow to attend the true meaning of the Tathagata. In order to liberate all sentient beings, let's generate the supreme bodhicitta. Today, let's continue with the class of transforming suffering and happiness into enlightenment. Last class, we didn't talk too much about the actual text, but we did talk about one of the most important instructions instructions in fact about this and that is whenever we're harmed by sentient beings or anything else if we make a habit out of perceiving only the suffering then when even the smallest problem comes up it will cause enormous anguish in our mind What's the reason behind this? Because let it be happiness or suffering, if we habituate ourselves or familiar ourselves with this kind of um, uh, mentality, then it will grow ever stronger. Uh, whatever we feed into, it will get stronger. This is the pattern. I think the wording is really short. It's just a few a few lines of words really really short anyhow over here it talks about if we habituate ourselves with the kind of mind that we um, enforce the idea of suffering I'm so annoyed I'm so angry I'm so upset if you keep for keep um, habituate yourself with such kind of a mentality then whatever little external condition that contributes to such to to such thing would cause enormous suffering enormous pain and the reason is whatever you habituate yourself with it will grow ever stronger for example if you practice on familiarize yourself with a sacred outlook and everything's pure everything's the manifestation of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas all the sentient beings are just like my parents then whatever sentient beings you see whomsoever they are whatever actions they uptake you will be willing to accept it you won't be upset about whatever they did in such a way just like Mepa Rinpoche said um, even the enemies will eventually turn to your turn to become your friends there is such a possibility similarly if we have the right view if we uphold the right view often uh, such as uh, uh, if you sow a good seed it will uh, for it will uh, turn out to be good fruition and bad seed with bad fruition and uh, if you familiarize yourself with the right view that everything is the blessing that comes from the guru then whatever suffering that you may be going through is not going to harm you at all and this is just a natural pattern Therefore, within such a short text, I think you should understand this is the secret of the mind, the secret of the mentality, because mind has a secret. And if we can discover the secret, then uh, whatever suffering happens in your life or pain happens in your life, it won't uh, it won't be traumatic to you and whatever happiness you may have will be however everlasting even within really painful and cruciating environment you can still find your happiness so we we should try to familiarize our mind with the right um, habit unlike some people that we see in our lives they don't smile at all just maybe like uh, 
Longri Tamba. Maybe they are the relatives of Longri Tamba, and、uh, maybe they carry the genes of Longri Tamba, because Longri Tamba he only smiled once in his lifetime, in his whole life,、uh, when he saw a small mouse was trying to steal a turquoise gem、uh, from his mandala, and the rest of the time he never smiled. So some people are just like him.、Uh, they had. They they are really long faced all the time, and they're so upset all the time, and never smile. Whatever happens to them, so maybe it's the Larry Tumba's、uh, children, but he doesn't have children. So maybe from his、uh, relatives'、uh, lineage. Well, does it have something to do with practice? I'm not so sure. Uh, because there are people, whatever they encounter, they're still very positive and very really happy, and、uh, that's just the two types of people we encounter in our lives.、Uh, the one is that you cannot, you you cannot、uh, tell them anything because they will. Uh, they will get really tensed up and really upset, and then there are people who are completely fine. And、uh, even if they are not particularly good practitioners, but they have a good heart and big mind,、uh, they have big hearted, their big heartedness,、uh, their big heart and and very positive and、uh, not upset very often. So we should really an analyze our own mentality and think about what kind of influence that we could bring to the others, because sometimes we don't really understand ourselves, isn't it?、Uh, we could look at ourselves in the mirror. We could look at our body from the mirror. Use the reflections. Uh, just like some sutras would say, like a beauty looking into the reflection of、uh, the mirror. Of course, the handsome guys could also look into the mirror and、uh, see the reflections uh, and uh, to understand oneself. However. Without the mirror of、um, teachings, the Buddha, the, the Dharma teachings, it will be very difficult for you to discover your shortcomings. Therefore, we should practice the Lojang、uh, Lojang teachings and、uh, try to see、uh, the shortcomings that we may have. And in order to call ourselves、uh, practitioners, it is to Uh, see the suffering of all sentient beings. To also see the shortcomings of ourselves, and to see what our our mind is at the moment. Is our mind、uh, at the rather、um, normal or or、uh, or the right having the right mentality, or are we already? Developing the abnormal or the disorders in terms of our mentality or our psyche. So it is important to、uh, analyze ourselves, to look at, at ourselves.、Uh, in Tibet, we say this idiom that it's very easy to see. A small tick on other people's face, but even if on your own face there is a huge yak sitting on it, you won't be able to see it yourself. And this is really a kind of a wrong way of uh, uh, of seeing, and it could be a, a, a psychological disorder as well.、And、this is very clearly stated in Buddhism. Nowadays, the Modern psychology also states in similar、uh, some similar、uh, conditions,、uh, such as yesterday we talked about OCD. We talked about a persecutive,、uh, persecutory delusion, and there's another there's another disorder. It's called、uh, allo. Allodoxophobia, which means it's a person's、uh, a person's very difficult to make any choices or decisions, and that's also a kind of mental disorder.、Um, in Tibet, we say that、uh, for people. 
To make choice is actually quite joy joyous, but for the ones who can't, is quite painful. There are people who were who get tormented nowadays over what to wear, and some of them can't even get a full night's sleep because they kept on thinking about what should I wear, green and white? No,、uh, no, white doesn't look good because my clothing has to be white, has has to be black, and so on. So they kept on thinking in such a way and. And they would even go to the、uh, the extent to mix and match cl clothing、uh, virtually on computer and so on. Nowadays, people really have lots of clothing. They have hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of clothing. And because they have so many, and they、uh, they can't mix and match, and then they couldn't fall asleep. So. That's just one of the examples. Similarly, their friends, the tea, the food. There's so many different choices that they face, and then that could bring lots of uh, uh, anxiety for the ones with uh, allo uh, allodoxophobia. Nowadays, the psychologists analyze many different. Kinds of disorders, and this phobia and that phobia, many different sorts of phobias. People, however,、uh, do not identify themselves with different kinds of phobias because they don't really、uh, analyze themselves. Anyhow, whatever you habituate yourself with, whatever kind of habit you familiarize yourself with,、uh, will then eventually become the cause of happiness or suffering. Yesterday, I quoted from Mahaparinirvana Sutra, where it is stated that if you worry. If you worry about suffering, then you will suffer even more. This is quite important to remember because、uh, if you if you constantly worry about suffering and pain and anguish and anxiety, then such kind of anxiety and suffering will follow you at all times. So that's just how you familiarize yourself in terms of the thoughts.